Hiya fishy folks and happy special edition video Saturday. You know the drill, before we get started, go ahead and uh, smash, annihilate, just obliterate the subscription button and then gently boop the notification bell. Hope that didn't make anyone too sick, but. And of course, check out michaelsfishroom.com for pretty cool guppies and plecos and stuff. Well, folks, I am at the Home Depot, and I'd like to introduce you to my new friend, 18-inch oscillating fan for the fish room. Stay tuned for more updates. All right, fishy folks, we're back. We're in the fish room. I have my handy-dandy non-contact temperature probe. Um, I had an issue with my Tanaka maple leaf tank. I lost all the adults over the last two days. Uh, Thursday night I got home really late from the Bucks County Aquarium Society holiday party which was spectacular they were about an hour away from me and uh, the party didn't start till 7 we got there at 7 the party didn't really start till 8 we ate food we had uh, some speakers um, and by 9 9 15 I had to go because I had to get home and you know sleep so long story short I hadn't been in the fish room until uh, like Friday late afternoon and uh, I just fed fry. I didn't feed most of the upper tank so I didn't see the Tanaka Maple Leafs lap yesterday. This morning I come down to feed the whole fish room and there are no adults. I have fry, lots of fry, not lots, some, some fry, but no adults. I don't know what happened. It's possible it got too hot up there and that's kind of the point of this whole video, right? If possible it got too hot up there, they got stressed and so we're gonna check the tank now 86 that's pretty warm for guppies tank next to it 85.9 86 so you know we're 84 down towards the end middle tanks are upper 70 79 79 79 yeah so those tanks are way too hot so I have the fan, a fan video about a fan. Ugh. Bam! So we're gonna we're gonna set it up. So uh, enjoy this lovely music and fast motion while I set this fan up. Stand by. folks that wasn't difficult or annoying at all let's, uh, let's figure out how we're gonna plug this bad boy in I think we're gonna go up top and I think I'm just gonna put the fan sort of in front of the heater and see what happens that's what I think. let's see well, the cord's definitely in the way. Yep, stand by. Stand by. Definitely blowing warm air, which is nice. 
Now we just gotta let it circulate the air in the room and see what happens. The angle might be off. The dangle of the angle. This might be better. All right, fishy folks. Obviously, they're going to still stay about the same temp. Let's check out the 95 in the rafter where the heat vent is. 95 over here, too. Got to play with Chewy. Get it, get it. Get it, Chewy. Get it. You can get it. Just kidding. How about hand? He doesn't care as much. By the way, hand's tank is 82. Oh, Leia sees it. All right, sorry. 87 for, uh, yeah, 87 for Chewy. A little warm. Little warm. All right, well, we're gonna let this uh, circulate, circulate, and see what happens. You know, the air is going, and the temperature hopefully will go down. All right, boys and girls, that was puberty. All right, boys and girls, stand by. We're gonna let the air circulate, see what happens in here. I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, it is about an hour and a half later. And uh, back in the fish room, I just want to show you what we got. When I walked in the fish room, it felt a little warmer near the, the curtain than normal, or than I'm used to, I guess. So let's take a look. This tank was 86 point something. Now we're at 84.3. So we're down a couple degrees, which is good. Hopefully in another couple hours, we'll be down a little bit more. Why is that one 84? I bet it's because I'm not close enough. Yeah. So, I believe the fan has helped. Let me just take a quick, let me just take a quick uh, temperature reading up here. Yeah, see that's down five degrees also. That's the heat fan, obviously. Yeah, so the rafters, in between the rafters, are down as well. So, in closing, fishy folks, I think our fan has done what we needed it to. Now, the fan is kind of really in the way. And so I was thinking about this. I'm considering either hanging it from the ceiling upside down or uh, somehow mounting it to the wall lowering it as low it'll go and mounting it to the wall they did sell a wall mount fan but it was like 25 dollars more than this and uh, i just i wasn't ready to spend that money let's take a look at this tank plecto tank 84 so it's still warm here yeah i think the fan's gonna help baby plecto tank still so uh i think it's gonna help i think we're gonna get lower but that's it for the video for today folks hope you guys enjoyed it special saturday release and uh today is saturday the 8th of december i'll be live streaming today at 8 come on and hang out ask me anything gotta talk about a little troll from yesterday and uh you know just general shenanigans because that's how i roll night night So folks, I'm at the Home Depot and I like you to, I like you to? Well, folks, I'm at the Home Depot and I like to introduce into, I've had coffee already. <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> Hi, fishy folks. Glad you chose to join me. I see. I yeah, I got nothing. 